Alright, good morning everybody. Uh, it's a lovely day outside. I hope it's a lovely day wherever you are. Uh, welcome back to Harry John's YouTube channel. Today I thought I'd do another guitar lesson for you. This song is called There She Goes and it's by the band The Lars. It's a really pretty one to play on guitar. So uh, It's quite beginner friendly. It's a little tricky in some areas but the chords are pretty standard, pretty beginner friendly. So I hope you enjoy it. So, for the intro, we will cover the intro first. Here we are with a close-up of the fretboard. So, what we're going to do, with our fretting hand, we're going to start with fingers number two and three. These are the ones in between our index finger and our little finger. So, we're going to put begin with finger number three. It's going to go on the first string, which is also known as our high E. And then the second finger is going to go on the B string, which is string number two, the second one up. Both of these fingers are going to be on the 3rd fret on the guitar. You can count up if you're a complete beginner. 1, 2 and 3. It's usually the first dot on the guitar, but not all of them have this first dot. Alright, so with our picking hand, we're going to be playing the... We're going to be alternating almost exclusively just between the B string, the second one up, and the high E. It's quite a lot of down-up picking on these two strings. So... To start with, fingers number two and three are going to stay exactly where they are. We're going to do one down up pick. Then we're going to bring in finger number four. It's going to go on the fifth fret and we're going to pick B and high E again. Then we're going to remove finger number four and number three and bring the first finger onto the second fret on the first string or high E. Another B and high E pick. Then, third finger is going to come back in, back to its uh, beginner spot on the third fret high E. Another B and high E pick. Then, we're going to take the third finger off again, and we're going to play the open high E. Three times, with that B as well, sorry. And then, after we've done it three times, we're going to play that B string and the G. So I'll try and play that a little bit slower for you again. And one more time. And there you go, that's it, full speed. And you play that four times and then as soon as you've finished, we go straight into a G major chord. Now there's two G major chords out there. There's the four fingered one, which is the one I prefer for most songs anyway. There's also a three fingered uh, G major chord. Now both of them should be fine for this song, but if you can do the four fingered G, I think it sounds a little bit better and I think it's more like the original. So, this particular chord has just two beats or a strum of a down, down, up. So you can count it as one, two, and. And then we're gonna to go to a D major chord, and that's exactly the same strum pattern. One, two, and. And then we're gonna to go to a C add nine, sorry, I almost called it something else. A C add nine is exactly the same as a G major with four fingers, but we bring down fingers two and three, just a string each. And then we strum this, it's just four down up strums, so you can count it as one and two and three and four and. So I'll do that again slowly. G, one, two and. D, one, two and. And C add nine. One and two and three and four and. I'll play that one more time a little bit quicker. One, two and one, two and one and two and three and four and. And that's it for the bulk of the verse. Now after you've played that three times, we then change to an A minor chord, and it's A minor has two beats, and it's a one, two, and. Then we go to a G, two beats, one, two, and, and then C add nine again for four beats. One and two and three and four and. I'll do that one more time. A minor, one, two, and. G major, 
One, two, and she had nine. One and two and three and four and. And then it ends with a D major, which is four beats. One and two and three and four and. Now to get this exactly like the original, we miss that first beat off the D major chord at the end. Sounds really strange, but it kind of goes A minor, G, C add 9, 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and, and it just gives it this mystical pause which makes the song sound great. So I'll play those two parts with the chords uh, together again, sorry. So we've got G to D, C add 9, then to A minor, to G, to C add 9, and, and you can end on a nice G there. Brilliant. So I hope you enjoyed this video guys. Uh, I'll put it back into the full face mode so you don't have to stare at it. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. Uh, very easy song to start with. There is a little bit more, there's a bridge in it with a really nice sounding E minor 7 chord, which sounds great. If you like this video, uh, please let me know in the comment section, like and subscribe and all that, and I'll try and bring you some more videos soon, and there'll be some more broom videos. I'm off to feed some hungry cats. It's 12 o'clock, they've not eaten for a few hours and they won't leave me alone. Alright, all right, have a great day guys, and I'll see you soon. Thanks for tuning in. Come on.